The one thing that I did that finally made a difference in my hormones, which is so crazy. Welcome to this What I Eat in a Week. We are starting off the week strong with my little progesterone punch is kind of what I've nicknamed it. I start off the morning every single morning with this teaspoon of Osterola cherry for a massive boost of vitamin C. So important for progesterone levels. And then a element pack, which has that potassium in there, which is incredibly important for progesterone. And my levels were at a healthy range for the very first time in my life. I just can't even believe it. So I have been doing that every single morning and then I always eat breakfast right away when I first wake up and always try to aim for 10 grams of fiber. So these wraps are really high in fiber and the dates are high in fiber. I needed to get more fruit. So we were kind of low on groceries, but I whipped up those little breakfast tacos and then had it with a side of the Greek yogurt. So that gave it that extra boost of protein. So that was a perfect way to start off the day. And then I had my matcha for my polyphenols. I just made it with maple syrup up this time because again we're out of all of our fruit and for lunch I did leftover chili that I had made over the weekend I love leftovers for lunch because they're honestly just so easy and I made some gluten-free cornbread which was delicious like nothing hits the spot quite like a delicious satiating full of fiber full of protein I use grass-fed meat from our local farm bowl of chili you get so many nutrients macro and micronutrients in there and it's delicious. For my snack, I had some scary yogurt because I finally made it to the grocery store and I was able to restock our berries, put some bee pollen in there for amazing source of B vitamins and amino acids, which are so important for cellular health and had some honey. And that was my snack. And you know that I ate that same chili for dinner because I was not about to cook dinner. Let's make my nighttime knock me out drink. I put some milk, cinnamon, dates, collagen. I'll leave all the ratios in the description. My armor colostrum, of course, this is so amazing for cellular health. I scooped that in there and then I actually added in some calcium, which is really important for thyroid function. So I scooped that in there with some inositol, which this is absolutely so helpful for liver detoxification, which is really important for our hormone health. Threw in some vanilla extract, whipped it up in the blender, and it is so good and you'll sleep so well. Now for Tuesday, I have been weighing out and actually just tracking my fiber intake for blood sugar regulation and my protein. So eggs with high protein yogurt allows me to easily hit 30 grams. And then the cassava wrap is really high in fiber and so is berries. So it's just like the easiest way for me to get protein and fiber. And of course I had to make a peak matcha. So again, same concept for lunch, pair the protein with the fiber. And so I had local grass fed sausage, a pear and some cornbread. Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Week video. I'm gonna show you how to make the best zucchini recipe. I'm telling you, nothing compares. So welcome to this week. This is a very realistic week. As you probably noticed from yesterday, leftovers all day. I made a batch of chili over the weekend. It is such good chili. It's amazing, but we're gonna get cooking. And yes, I am in my pajamas. <laughs> Okay, so how you wanna make this zucchini is so quick and easy. Basically, I just seasoned it with some garlic, oregano, a little bit of thyme, a tablespoon of olive oil, but the key here is to put the zucchini not directly on a baking sheet. As you can see, I put this like baking rack that you can actually use to like cool cookies and stuff, but I baked it directly on that at 425 for like 20 minutes, and then you broil it for a few minutes at the end. It comes out amazing. And that's our very simple, easy summer dinner. Grilled chicken thighs, super easy. I roasted these at 400 degrees for like 20 minutes with some garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper done. This is leftover cornbread, the last of it, and I made some honey butter. And then these are the best zucchini spears ever. So good, Bobo's sick. He doesn't look well or feel well, so. But he loves the dinner, right babe? Amazing. That is the best sauce combination. You know, they say like, if it's not broken, then don't fix it. So that's like me and my breakfast relationship right now, where I just do my eggs in the wrap because the wrap is so high fiber and I do some kind of fruit with high protein yogurt because it is 
literally the easiest way to get 30 grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber at breakfast, plus tons of antioxidants from the fruit, choline from the eggs. It's incredibly nutrient dense. And then I actually had a London fog this morning because again, I was just kind of like out of my strawberry specifically. So anyway, made a London fog, so frothy and delicious. And then for lunchtime, again, leftovers were just really going strong this week. So leftover chicken and some potatoes from the night before. So again, protein and carb, really easy. For dinner, this is amazing. You're just gonna saute your onion, a little bit of garlic, throw in your, I, I use some local grass-fed meat, and then I seasoned it up with like cumin, chili powder, garlic, paprika, added in a big, like couple heaping tablespoons, honestly, of the tomato paste, super high in potassium cooked that up and made it into a burrito and then I seared it and I, I put a little bit of sour cream and actually some Greek yogurt for more protein. This was literally the best dinner I've ever had. Not to be dramatic. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Really good? Very flavorful. Yeah, that's really good. 10 out of 10. That's how good this is. 10 out of 10. Okay, even just watching this is actually making me miss my matcha lattes. I do love how fabulous my London fogs are, but the strawberry matcha latte is out of this world. But don't worry, I've restocked my strawberries. And anyway, for breakfast, I actually had some leftover of that grass-fed meat just for extra protein because we ran out of yogurt and my fruit and the eggs. I just got in this new cereal. I've never had the maple sea salt flavor from Seven Sundays before, but I'm gonna make a little protein cereal. Five grams of protein, so I'm gonna add some whole milk, and then I'm gonna add a scoop of protein powder to my milk. And we're gonna have a nice little protein snack because I really need to go get some groceries for lunch. So, but I need a little snack before we go. I'm not gonna lie, these last couple dinners were 10 out of 10. Actually, the chili was, to, all of it's 10 out of 10. So for this dinner, I pretty much did the exact same thing, but with chicken. And then I added a little bit of coconut milk though and basil, so I just tweaked the seasonings. Tomato paste is extremely high in potassium. And then I just cooked up some gluten-free star noodles. And it was basically like this one skillet tomato basil chicken. And it was restaurant quality. Amen. Amen. How is it, honey? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That is actually, that is to live for. Mm. 10 out of 10. Tracking my protein has been a game changer for getting my progesterone up. So I did my usual, but kind of switched it up because I added this pineapple salsa and made like a taco. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal. Okay, let's give these breakfast tacos a taste. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's really good. My new obsession is dates and hazelnut cacao spread with flaky salt. That is so good. So for lunch, so simple. I grabbed my gluten-free sourdough bread, put on some grass-fed cheese from Trader Joe's, some turkey, chopped up some veggies. I love raw carrots because they are such a great source of fiber. And then even actually the sourdough is fermented, so it's really good for the gut. But then I took some cottage cheese and added this ranch dip, which has amazing ingredients, and it was phenomenal. I tried out this new milk too, which was really high in potassium, and I loved it. And then I finally made my beloved strawberry matcha. Okay, so I heard we're cold whisking our matches now. Never done it, but let's try. Ooh, I'm already having a good feeling about this. I am, I'm in heaven. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That is so good. So if you heard from my last video, I officially got my progesterone up to a 9.6. That is the highest my progesterone. I'm trying to not like scream and yell because that is the highest that my progesterone, not only is it the highest that it's ever been, but it's in range for the first time, I think in my entire life. Like ever since I started getting the blood test, when I was 17, I was at a one because I had so many doctors tell me, I think it was about five different doctors tell me, Cambria, your progesterone is the lowest that I have ever seen. However many each of those doctors sees individually and how many of all of their patients that they've seen for them, 
all individually, all separate doctors to tell me that, it really just is such a monumental milestone for me because I genuinely felt like I don't know if I am ever going to get to a healthy range. Like bottom line, I feel like I felt like maybe even maybe my progesterone receptors like don't even work anymore because it's been so low for so long. You know what I mean? Like I just didn't know. I was like, well, you know, anything's possible. Maybe my body just genuinely doesn't produce enough. And I don't know if it's going to even be a possibility for me to get into an optimal range. And so to see it at 9.6, I'm just like, <sighs> and to be in a healthy range, to not just be in a healthy range, but to be in a functional range is truly the greatest thing. And I am so thankful. And I think the greatest thing that allowed me to be patient is having hope that no matter what, that no matter what, that God is good and he is writing my story. And that is what gave me more hope than anything else. But I thought today that I would share a little bit more of like, here's the thing. This is what I wanted to share really today. My desired outcome for so long was to raise my progesterone. And the thing that I did wrong for so long was focus on my progesterone. I thought that the solution to low progesterone was progesterone itself, was like taking progesterone. The thing is, even doing that, my body was not responding and I've taken progesterone and it didn't raise my progesterone. My goal was for my body to produce its own progesterone on its own. But for so long, I focused on, and the thing that I did wrong was focusing on the progesterone itself. And that really just did not get me anywhere because I just thought, well, I just have low progesterone, so like, how do I lengthen my luteal phase? You know, do I need to take an herb? Focusing on though the hormones, focusing on my hormones, that is what I did wrong for so long. And I will tell you, the one thing that, that led me in the right direction, this is it. This is literally, this is it. Focus on healthy cells. That's it, it's that simple. When I focused on creating and focusing on nurturing and nourishing healthy, cells. Every single thing in my life changed. Every single thing in my life changed because everything comes down to the cell. And I, I know I've said this a million times, but it will never not be the answer because healthy cells, if we have, if you really want to think about this, if a cell isn't working correctly and cells make up tissues. Okay. Now we have tissues that we have dysfunction going on and those tissues make up our organs, right? Our reproductive organs. Those organs make up our organ system, you know, our thyroid hormone, our progesterone, our estrogen. If we draw the line back to what it really comes down to, which is our cells, our cellular health. When you focus on cellular health, that's the key. If we focus on having healthy cells, those cells are gonna make up our tissues and those tissues are gonna make up our organs. And now we're gonna have organs that are working right and working properly and working better. And then those organs are gonna make up our organ system. Now the whole system is working better. And now as an organism, then we're gonna be feeling better. And the one thing that I did that finally made a difference in my hormones, which is so crazy, is focusing on the cell. The crazy thing is I've been telling you this and been talking about this and documenting my journey, but the more I do it, the more I do it, the more I see changes. So I wanted to go over some of the foundational things. If you saw the video where I talked about things that I incorporated this past month, because that's the thing, that is the thing. You cannot build, you can't build on a shaky foundation. So these things that I incorporated in, in the last month, you know, doing morning sunlight, but not having adequate protein or having gut issues or all these other things, you cannot build on a shaky foundation. Oh gosh, something is in my eye. So let's chat about foundations because I will tell you something. The more I simplify things, the more it works. So, and the basics are when I learned that cells really need two things. They need protection from, from toxins and things that can hurt the cell and they need nutrients. They need glucose. They need the macronutrients. They need the micronutrients. We need, we need nutrients. So your vitamins, your minerals, your food, your nutrition. So the one thing that I have done and that I was even taught as a practitioner, which is so crazy that I'm even a practitioner. The one thing that I was taught as one of the major number one, most important foundations is your digestion. All digestion though boils down to cells. I focus on having a strong barrier. I th your, your mucosa is like the armor inside of you. 
And that's the thing. When I say that cells need to be, we don't want the cell to have a, a, a bad wonky armor. Like if you have little chips in your armor, that's when, you know, that's when things start getting through. That's what we don't want. When, when it comes to cellular health, we want a nice, tight, strong barrier. That is literally why I, every day I put a couple scoops, two to three scoops of my armor colostrum in my matcha or sometimes I'll literally just throw it in my mouth. And that's the thing is that when barriers are compromised, that's when the harmful particles can get in. And then when there's not tight barriers, it leaks out into the bloodstream and causes inflammation. When there's inflammation, cells can have a hard time communicating with each other. And remember, we want the cells to be able to do what they're gonna do. So if cells are gonna be able to talk to each other, we want them to stay in communication with each other. So that's the thing. I take this every single day to create that tight seal that doesn't allow those irritants to get out and into the bloodstream where they're not supposed to go. We don't want things getting into the bloodstream that shouldn't be in the bloodstream. And not to mention, this is full of prebiotics and it's a whole food. That's the thing. This is a food. Just as like an apple is an apple, like colostrum, is a food. And so getting prebiotics from a whole food, bioactive, like living food is so incredibly potent and powerful. And it's the most bioavailable colostrum on the market. The fact that this does both of those things, that it's strengthening your barriers and it's optimizing your microbiome because it has the prebiotics in there and it has antibodies, like there's nothing else out there like this. There's just absolutely nothing. It just, it is the way to transform your health at its foundation. Because if the foundation is cells and this is literally giving our body the ability to quite literally, it says protect, regenerate and strengthen. And that's the thing. This is the amazing thing. Your cells are, that's what, that's what they're doing all the time. That is what we're doing all the time. When we, when we fuel and feed the cell, then the tissues are regenerated. That's what's happening all the time. It's like you get a scrape on your hand. What happens? Your body immediately forms. It starts the blood clotting. It forms a scab. Your body goes into regeneration immediately. That's what it does. And so that's the thing. Like we can regenerate we can regenerate our, our bodies because we can regenerate our cells. And then you just get the fun benefits too. Like I feel like my hair, even I just got my hair trimmed and finally dyed for the first time in such a long time. But I always feel like it gets really short after that. It's just made my hair so healthy and I feel like I've finally been able to grow my hair back. I've seen such a huge difference in my skin. And you know what I just learned is also in colostrum, which is like, this is crazy, is vitamin C and B vitamins, okay? The list, doesn't end, you can go to tryarmra.com slash Cambria and you're gonna get 15% off of your first order. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. I'm telling you, when you start at the foundation, you build up and you build up high. You know what I mean? Okay, voiceover Cambria is back and the foundations have literally completely changed my hormones. So um, speaking of foundations, protein is also a foundation because that's a major macronutrient that we need. So that is why literally, again, if it's not broken, I don't try to fix it. So I've just been doing that same wrap because it's so high in fiber with the eggs and then the simple yogurt bowl because you get all those antioxidants, vitamin C from the fruit. And then I made a matcha, which is so high in polyphenols. I add my armor colostrum, a scoop of collagen. It is so nutrient dense. I can't get enough of it. I'm obsessed. 10 out of 10 for the whole thing. You're going to love it. Okay. Lunch is a repeat. Again, I, when I find something that starts to work, I kind of just repeat it. So this is the same thing. It's just such an easy way to get protein. I mean, nothing like a classic sandwich. Honestly, I probably could have packed it out a little bit more, but with the dates on the side and the fruit, it was a fun filling lunch. And I'm telling you that hazelnut butter is unbelievable. Okay. So apparently I have an obsession with tomato paste. Well, not really tomato paste. I guess, yes, because it's so high in potassium, but basically this whole idea that this combination works with literally everything. I didn't have any more coconut milk, so I just added a splash of milk, but onions, garlic, a little bit of ghee, uh, a splash of milk or something like that, along with tomato paste and some shrimp or beef or chicken, whatever it is, it comes out amazing every single time. So that's what we had for dinner. The next day I made this tomato basil wrap, which literally I just, add, oh, and some onion. I just threw that all in with my eggs that morning, but it tasted a million times better. It was so much more flavorful and delicious. I was running out of my bread, so I did an open face sandwich for lunch with some sun-dried tomatoes. Apparently I'm just like, I have a thing for tomatoes this week. And then I made my 
famous chicken salad. I made this at my sister's baby shower and the amount of people that asked me for the recipe or just came up to me and said that is the best chicken salad that I've ever had. It's just such a foolproof recipe. So I'll leave all the specific measurements in the actual description below the actual description not just the description the actual description but anyway it's basically you just chop up a ton of apples and celery and grapes and then you add in I I don't even measure anything out like in a separate bowl I just put everything into the bowl I actually did add pistachios this time so nutrient dense like B vitamins so many different micronutrients in those pistachios and I threw in some cranberries which I just realized that they call them craisins but I'm like craisins cranberry anyway I'm thinking far into this I took my mold binders that's fun and then <laughs> I had that for dinner along with my hazelnut cacao date little situation for dessert i'm telling you that with the malden salt is delicious just look at that look how beautiful that looks wow look at this lighting i feel like that's gonna work okay that is my what i eat in a week that was a very realistic what i eat i feel like because i've been a busy bee i have been working on so many things behind the scenes sorry if i'm like literally getting the sun in your face okay um i've just been such a busy bee working on so many different things for you that i've just really been at my computer a lot but i hope that this video can really give you inspiration that nourishing your body you can make it really simple and you can make it very intentional and very very easy for whatever that needs to look like for you like using leftovers multiple times you know for lunch and dinner or just really keeping it simple like just making yourself a nice sandwich for lunch with enough protein and carbohydrate and fat like just keeping it to the point where it doesn't feel overwhelming and it doesn't feel like oh, I don't I, I don't know how to do it. just keep it simple nourish your body find easy ways to just get in your food get in your nourishment you know I feel like there was a season of life especially when I was writing milk and honey that it was just really really hard for me to really prioritize like main meals all throughout the day and I know that there's those seasons of life where honestly it can just be challenging to make yourself a meal but I hope more than anything that you can in whatever way that it works for you to just take the burden off of yourself make a smoothie like make something super super simple but but take a pause no matter what you're doing and as I look back over the years on those really really busy seasons and even now even now with a very again busy bee and a lot of things that I'm working on but really taking the time to pause and to make a nourishing meal and just sit down and enjoy it it has tremendously it's not only good for ourselves like I was saying but it's it's good for us it's good for us to sit down with our food to to set down our phone to sit outside enjoy the sunshine eat your lunch take some deep breaths and nourish yourself not just with your food but with your life so I hope that this video can inspire you to do that and inspire you to even be imperfect in whatever you're doing I think a lot of times we want to be perfect and we think that if it's not perfect then it's not good enough or we, we shouldn't try or you know and even in making even in creating content and videos for all these years that I've been doing it I can't tell you how many times I'm like oh like I wish this was better I wish that this had more you know more beauty in it or I was more careful with the angles or whatever you know or I had more like specific meals that you could recreate and and I was like you know what that's that's okay I can do that in a future video but today I'm just gonna show up where exactly where I'm at and I'm gonna be imperfect at it and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it and I think that applies to not only our, our food and our nourishment but to our life that we don't have to be perfect and in fact it's okay we're not perfect we're never going to be perfect but we don't have to let that fear really hold us back and affect us and and really affect us even in in how we take care of ourselves in our nourishment or just even in the bigger not bigger but you know different things it's important to nourish so that you can show up for the things in your life for other things in your life though too truly that don't let perfectionism really get into any area of your life be on guard against it don't let it rule and and have don't let it have a seat at the table you know in your life so 
With that being said, I have a little giveaway for you. I'm so excited. I, again, I've been a little bit of a busy bee, so I haven't really gotten out and got to put on, like pull together full on giveaways because I really do love going to like source and pick out different things and create a cute giveaway for you. But I found, look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at this little glass, this little summery, beautiful palm glass. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. And after getting those results back for my progesterone and just sharing my journey with you, I really felt like, you know, our little flourish mug, I felt like this was a little symbolic mug that the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and that we are evergreen because we are planted in the one who truly does care for our souls and gives us the, the greatest nourishment that we could ever, ever need, which is love and, and love from God. So this is what you're getting. And I just absolutely love it so very much. And speaking of nourishment and love, milk and honey, <laughs> so nourishing. Hello, milk and honey, literally milk and honey. I can't. The fact that I'm just now realizing it. Okay. Literally nourishment for your soul. Oh my gosh. How did I not just realize this? Okay. I literally wrote this for you to taste the goodness of God in every single season of your life. And even now looking back when I first, <clears throat> when I wrote this, I was headed into one of the, the hardest seasons of my entire life. And honestly, this, these words nourished me and sustained me because it's truth. And I just, I'm so excited to give this to you. I absolutely love milk and honey. And even that, you know, when this came out, I, again, I went through one of the most difficult seasons of my life. And looking back on that time, I was so disappointed. I never really talked about it too much. I was so disappointed and so devastated and sad that I didn't really get to pour my everything into even the launch of this book. And really my expectations were so, I was just really excited. And I had a lot of dreams surrounding it and a lot that I wanted to do. And life really just had a different plan. I really was walking through a very just, hard, hard season. And I just want to say even then, like that, that again, you know, if something isn't perfect or it doesn't go to your plan or your expectation, like it's okay. Like you can still, you can still show up. I can still, you know, share milk and honey. I can still give it away. I can still, it's still my beloved book that I poured my heart and soul into. And you don't have to, it's okay. It's okay that things are hard and difficult and that they're not going to be picture perfect, but that's what really I believe does make us beautiful because it's not our scars that are beautiful in and of themselves. It's the story behind them that makes them beautiful. And I think that that's true in honestly every area of our life. You're going to want a coffee, a signed copy of Milk and Honey, and then your little flourishing palm tree cup. This is so cute from anthropology. I literally cannot get enough of this. I feel like we need to match, but I have so many cups that I just got it for you. So there is your little mini giveaway. All you have to do to enter. Oh my gosh, this light is shining. Let's just do a fun random food one. Summer dessert. Are we doing a popsicle, like a cold treat, or are we doing like s'mores by the campfire? You know what I mean? Are you popsicle? or you like team s'mores, you know, like warm, gooey s'more, or just like a nice refreshing popsicle, or, you know, like a little bar, like a little fudge bar, or something like that, you know what I mean? That's what I wanna know. Extremely random, has absolutely no relevance to anything. Well, I guess so, I guess so, I guess uh, desserts. <laughs> but I always like just fun, random things, you know, it's just fun to, it's just fun. It's just for the fun of it, which I think fun, we need more fun. So anyway, okay, I love you so much, don't forget, you can go to tryarmor.com slash Cambria and get 15% off of your Armor Colostrum. Your first order, literally start at the foundation. I'm telling you, when you start at the foundation, you build a strong foundation. That is everything. That is absolutely everything when it comes to health. So it quite literally is so incredibly nourishing and genuinely strengthening to ourselves, which is exactly what we want. So link is in the description box. I love you so much. I'm so glad we got to hang out this week, even though it was perfectly imperfect. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.